Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for Discord, how you can optimize Discord to improve your gaming performance on any PC. With the new Discord update out and a lot of things have changed, I'm going to be going through all of that in the video as well. So make sure to stick around in the end. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, sorry for the incredibly long intro, but let us start by opening our Discord. And once you open up the application, it should look like this. And I mean, you guys can join my Discord server. A link to it would be in the description. A very good server out there for you guys. Head over to the user settings. So the first setting over here, which we are looking at is content and social. Over here, you guys have to set these three things to block, block and show. Direct message, I have set it to filter all. And yeah, rest everything is a personal preference. Next, head over to data and privacy see and over here you here head over to data and privacy and i would recommend you guys to disable use data to improve discord then click on yes i'm sure and then that should be it why we disabled it is because it runs a service in the background which constantly sends your user data and log files to discord server and i mean it is for the benefit of discord but it puts a load on your processor and if your pc is super low end i would highly recommend you guys to keep this off but if you guys have a decent processor so you guys can turn this thing on as well just like me next head over to the app settings and over here you'll find appearance they have added two new appearances that is dark and onyx and ash is their default version so if you guys want to head back to the original discord look you guys can go with ash but i personally prefer onyx it is super black and it looks super cool as well come down and you'll find something called ui density with the new update they have set a new default over here but i would recommend you guys to go with spacious it makes everything look very cleaner and then time format should be set to auto after that head over to the accessibility section then you want to have to turn on the guild tags turn off sync contrast settings and then you'll find the most important thing over here that is called reduced motion what you guys have to do is simply enable the reduced motion and disable and disable both of these options and disable both of these options that is automatically play gifs when discord is focused and play animated emojis both of them are super super performance consuming keeping them turned on will cost you your system's resources then you'll come down and they have added a stickers panel you guys have to select animate on interaction that means if you hover your mouse or click on a sticker it will play only then the basic is that you want to have to keep lesser animations in discord then scroll down a bit and you'll find something called text to speech you can turn this thing off as well after that head down to the voice and video and this is one of the most important section over here scroll a bit down until you find voice processing now again if you guys have a very good microphone you guys can go with none but if you guys have a budget pc and you guys do not have a really good microphone go with crisp but do not go with standard voice processing is a very costly service which is offered by discord and if you guys have a decent enough microphone head over to the none on noise suppression also disable echo cancellation and only enable advanced voice activity as well as automatic gain control but before moving on i would like to introduce you guys to ease us voice wave which is actually an ai based voice changer for online games and streamers you guys can download it for free from the link in the description below once you open up the application it should look like this and over here it offers you more than 300 voices which includes AI, human, robot, game characters, horror characters, cartoon characters and a lot of other stuff. What you guys could do is simply select a character. For me, I have selected Claire over here. You guys can add it to your favorites as well. It can customize your volume and your pitch to ensure that you sound perfect. This is Reina and I have set the pitch to 4 to match my voice and this is how Reina sounds like. You can actually play along with the pitch to ensure that you are sounding perfect and that should be it. It has an inbuilt record mode where you guys can record and change your voice in the application itself. To use it on Discord, simply head over to your user settings and then voice and video. Over here, change your input device from your microphone to the EaseUs VoiceWave microphone that should be a virtual device. You guys can now use your voice changer as your input device. I personally use EaseUs VoiceWave to prank my friends and in game lobbies and I freaking love it. You guys can find EaseUs VoiceWave for free from the link in the description below and find out more features for yourself. Once that is done, head over to the video settings over here and then scroll a bit down until you find the streaming section. What you guys have to do is disable the first two options over here and then also disable use our advanced technology to capture your screen this is not at all useful 
And if you guys are doing a watch party or watching Netflix or whatever with your friends, having this turn on will lead to black screen issues and I would not recommend you guys to keep it on. However, in the advanced settings, you'll find Open H.264 video codec and I would recommend you guys to turn this thing on and hardware acceleration, both of them should be turned on because what you guys want is your load being separated and handled by your CPU as well as your GPU. This will help sharing the loads and processes among them and help you to improve the performance of both of your hardwares. Next, you want to head over to the notification section and then disable desktop notifications. I would recommend you guys because the annoying Discord message pop-up sound is not at all pleasing to my ears. And what you guys can do is simply disable that and disable taskbar flashing. Reaction notifications, I have gone with all messages. And over here, I would not recommend you guys to touch anything other than that. However, head over to the Windows settings and then over here, simply disable open discord this will disable discord as a startup application that means if your pc boots up discord will not automatically load on your pc it will help you to reduce your bios booting time and also help you to run less number of services and discord will only open when you open the application next is the close button and i would recommend you guys to minimize your tray because most times when you are gaming you simply close discord from here that means that your discord is still open what you guys have to do is simply head over to the app tray and double click on it to open your discord back again where you left it next head over to the last settings that is the advanced settings over here where you have to enable developer mode hardware acceleration and that should be it once again if you guys are facing more fps drops after enabling hardware acceleration what you guys have to do is simply turn this thing off click on the ok button discord will restart and your hardware acceleration would be disabled right away next setting is right in the activity settings that is game overlay and they have made a huge update in game overlay they have changed the technologies that it has been running on and now game overlay is actually a game changer firstly let's talk about the enable overlay settings which you guys wanna have to turn on for this you need to require a borderless display settings in the game so if you guys are running full screen it will still utilize the old overlay so if you guys want to switch on the new overlay which is actually lighter faster and more customizable switch to borderless window mode in the games next one is enable legacy overlay you guys have to turn this thing off and then click on the submit button legacy overlay is supported on all games but we do not want our game overlays running on those games which is not supported because you guys are still trading fps for that come a bit down until you find the voice widget you wanna have to set the avatar size to small display names to only when speaking and display users always once again this is my personal preference and you guys can change it according to yourself for notifications you guys can set the messages to on go live off game activity on and now playing on as well once that is done you can minimize discord but don't leave because i have a few more settings up my sleeves firstly is of course creating a restore point so for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and after that head over to your local disk c click on create and name it dc just so you can remember it I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and then close system property. Next step is Discord optimization, which is one of the most important step over here. You can download this pack for free from the link in the description below. Once you guys are here, you will find in three simple folders. Let us start with the first one that is CPU priority, in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. So if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Second folder over here is Discord priority in which I have left Discord high priority. I would recommend you guys to apply this priority on your PC by simply double clicking on it and it will help you to optimize the performance of Discord drastically. Third one over here is input delay improvements and this is to complement higher discord usage in the background. Simply double click to open it up and you'll find in two simple folders. The first one is keyboard latency fix wherein I have left these five keyboard buffers and to apply the keyboard buffer for you, you guys can simply leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which keyboard buffer you need to choose over here. After that the next one is mouse latency registry in which I have left a fixed mouse curve. So what you guys can do is simply double click to apply this mouse curve and it will help you to set up the correct mouse sensitivity and the x and y curves to improve your mouse accuracy once that is done simply close the discord optimization pack 
So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I believe in you all and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.